Gunsman. I'm Fias. I'll be doing a face shave today. Um, I've got a few days of growth. I've already put the uh, bevel pre shave on. This is running really low. I already have a new um, bottle here. It is, um, I put it on subscribe and save just to save a couple bucks. Um, it's a pretty good pre shave. I think I'm going to continue using it for the foreseeable future. Um, you got an interesting shave today. I haven't. I've used this soap once before and it was off camera. I've never used it on camera. I've got it lathered up here. It's got a great lather. Um, go ahead and apply some on. If you'll notice, I'm only using my left hand today, um, which is my off hand. I'm a right-handed person, so this might be a little bit awkward looking. Um, I got some tattooing done on my right arm on Friday. It is now Tuesday, so it's been a few days. It's peeling. It's very, um, it's peely. That's that's the word for it. Um, this can take a little bit more water. It's a very thirsty soap. Um, I'll talk about it here in a second. But I don't like using my arm too much once it's tattooed while it's healing. Um, let it rest a little bit, and it's just very uncomfortable. Um, it's tight, even though I'm using lotion on it. Um, and once it starts peeling, it just feels like your skin is kind of tugging. I just don't like that feeling. So I'm taking this chance, uh, this opportunity to increase the dexterity of my weaker, my less dominant hand. <clears throat> Very nice lather. Now the soap, first lathered with the chisel and hound um red and ivory shorty that i've got the um the soap that i've got is the sphinx shaving soap choke cherry i don't know a whole bunch about this company i really don't um they have like beard products and stuff and they have shave soap and aftershave on their website it says the shave soap is a kaizen base but um Comparing the label on the tub, it's different than the Kaizen base that's on their website. Now, I got this soap and aftershave on eBay. I'll talk about that later. Um, but that's the soap and aftershave we'll be using. Choke Cherry. Um, I'm going to open my Celsius. Choke Cherry is based on Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. which I've got also. Very nice. For those wondering, the Celsius of the day is um, something marshmallow. Mandarin Marshmallow Edition. Pretty good. Um, the reason I got this soap and aftershave is because I love the Tom Ford um, Lost Cherry. My wife got me a smaller bottle of it because Tom Ford is expensive. It's Freak, um, don't want to cuss too bad. Um, looks like women's lipstick, I know. It's it's probably a more feminine scent, but I don't care. Um, it's a beautiful cherry scent. It's got black cherry, um, well, the soap, scent notes. Um, it's black cherry, cherry liqueur, bitter almond, and um, tonka. That's off the top of my head. But the soap, I mean, the, the fragrance, I'm not sure what all the scent notes they, they describe in it, so... I may put that on the screen if I feel like it. Um, get started. I've got my polished um, 316 with a third use feather. Super smooth. Yeah, I got, so I got the soap on um, eBay but I'm pretty sure it's from the same seller, the people that make it. Or have it made for them, because I'm pretty sure that's what they do, which is fine. Um, and I got a shipping notification from eBay that it was shipped out, waited a little bit. A few days later, it said um, they can't fulfill it, so they canceled it because it got destroyed in and transit or something which was a bummer 
And literally like the next day, I received a package from eBay and it was this set. So, I ended up getting it. Um, it smells really good. The scent strength on the soap is probably like a five. Five out of ten. Maybe a four and a half. It's like teetering. It's very similar, very close to the Tom Ford scent. Tom Ford's fragrance is going to have alcohol in it. Obviously, it's, in, it's a fragrance, so it's going to be a little different. It's going to be a little bit stronger. But um, the downside of this cherry scent the fragrance from Tom Ford is it doesn't really last that long. It's not, I mean, it's a strong fragrance when you first put it on. Um, just like most fragrances. It smells really good. But it only lasts, to me, it only lasts a couple hours. Two, three, four hours, maybe. Very nice shave um, with the 316, um, very smooth. I haven't used it in a while, figured use it today. Um, haven't used it, you know, like I said, in a while. It's a very, very smooth shaver. It reminds me, the smoothness is like a um, Rockwell smoothness, which is known to be super smooth, but the efficiency is more efficient in my experience with it, with both of them. I've got a gold-plated Rockwell 6S that I got from Razor Emporium. Beautiful razor. Um, it just, I don't know. If I use a high plate on the Rockwell, I get irritation or nicks for some reason. It's not aggressive. I mean, I use the, the Rex Ambassador on 6 all the time, without, usually without issues. Sometimes I get some nicks. It's an aggressive razor. That's fine. But the Rockwell, I shouldn't really be getting irritation with it. But then if I use a lower plate, it's not super efficient. And I've got Middle Eastern hair, so I need, I need efficiency, in my opinion. This is a tad more efficient, um, but just as smooth. And I don't tend to get as much irritation. This definitely gets you a clean, like, close shave. I mean, I don't really feel much and it's only the second pass. I could buff and do against the grain, and it'll be completely BBS. Very smooth shaver, very good. Probably one of my favorite um, feels, or feeling razor, I guess I should say. Even with a third used feather, it's, it feels like I'm using like a persona or an acid or something, which is super, which are both super smooth for me. It's awkward using my offhand, um, going like this way. Let's see. The hardest part is kind of gauging how much pressure.
and the angles, finding the angle and keeping that angle, which is not easy with my off hand. Um, what else? Yeah, the soap, it's interesting. So one of the ingredients is um, mantica, mantica, which is pig fat. <laughs> I've never used something that I can that I know of with pig fat in it. Um, take that off so I can see what I'm shaving. Very awkward. I got myself a little bit on my neck right here. Again, um, using my off hand. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Still a super smooth shave. I don't feel any of that, which is weird. Um, all right, third pass. The lather is really nice. I mean, it, it lathers similarly to a Kaizen lather, so not sure, um, not sure what they're doing nowadays with it, <laughs> with their base. But it's a good base. I don't know who makes it for them or if they're if they started making it themselves. If anybody knows, make sure to comment below. I almost always get at least one side right here, either this way or this way on my, um, <clears throat> like right next to my lip. Now that I started shaving that, that's, I, that's like very likely that I want to get that. Okay. Rinse with hot water. Had a bump right there. I'm gonna use the Allen block just because I had a couple of like little oozy spots. Nothing on this side. There's that little spot right there. And then down here in the middle. That one spot right there. Overall, not bad. Again, very awkward using your offhand to shave when you're so used to um, using your dominant hand on one side. But it's all good. Um, all right, one more sip of this Celsius on camera. It's a nice uh, soap. Um, I need to do more digging on it to see who makes their base now. Um, they do a really good base. It's slick. It lathered really easily. Um, it, it was a nice, like, high-quality lather. I mean, I can't, that had no complaints about the soap. I'm going to use the aftershave now. Um, it looks like an older Ariane and Evans aftershave bottle. Because nowadays their bottles are um, 
are like this. This is the Pedro Fiesco's Moroccan Fig, but that's how their bottles are. They used to be, let's see if I can find it. I know I have one somewhere. Maybe. Anyway, they used to be um, like this one. I have a, um, did I sell it? Anyway, I had another one that was like this, and um, but it was Ariana Evans. Um, it might have been peach cognac. I might have sold that, but um, the restrictor on that was way worse than this. It was an old restrictor that was basically not a restrictor, just a wide open bottle. Um, but this is a lot better. The ingredients, aloe vera juice, vegetable glycerin. Um, there is some alcohol in it. So it's hard to, it's hard to read that. But it's called their Sphinx Serum. I'm pretty sure Ariana and Evans made this a while ago. It's like a milky... See if I can get it on camera. It's like a milky white. I don't want to waste it. <laughs> I made a mess. Um, it's like a milky um, splash. It smells really nice, actually. I definitely get that cherry coming through. Very, very little alcohol stinging. Very minimal. Um, No irritation, really. This one spot is the only spot that wants to keep kind of oozing, so I might um, do something about that. But otherwise, everything seems to have sealed up with the Allen block. Um, yeah. This splash is actually really nice. It feels really good on the skin. I don't know what else is in it that would make it feel refreshing, but it's it's got vitamin E, rose, hydrazol, um, yeah, coconut oils. It feels really nice and refreshing on the skin, so I really like that. Um, and then off camera, <clears throat> oh, I just saw this. It says shake well. I always shake my splashes, but this one for sure because it separates. Um, off camera, I will use the Tom Ford um, I think it's an EDP. Yeah, it's an EDP. This is a 10 mil, and it was like 80 something dollars. So, very expensive stuff. I think the full size bottle is like 400 bucks, 300 something bucks. Um, so, I use that off camera and we'll see how long it lasts. Um, thank you for watching. Kind of, kind of an awkward shave, just using my left hand, but um, overall. Got pretty good results, very smooth shave with the um, 316 in the feather. Um, it's a nice scent, nice soap. Let me know if you've used this before and see you next time.